I got one. Uh-oh. Cutting off my head. Cut off my head. Hold on. I got one. Where's the camera? It's over there. I got one. I got one of these. Sire Marcus Millers. Z3. Z series in blue. Three band EQ. Treble Miz bass. Push pull for active passive. Volume. The uh Yo, <clears throat> I watched everybody else get theirs, and then I was like, all right, I'll buy one, and then the only colors they had left at, uh, shoot, I keep looking at the side, the only color they had left at Sweetwater, Sweetwater, was this blue one, and which was the one I wanted, so, cool, they sold out quick, man, they really were like, people bought these things up as soon as they arrived. And I've just been watching everybody post their videos, so I figured, I'll post my video too. So, here we go, here we go, here we go. We got the, I have the amp set, pretty much almost everything at 12 o'clock. I always kind of cut the high mids a little bit, but you don't really need to with this bass. Like, if you, you style it back a little bit on the on the bass, they, the mid frequency on here that's selected is like a high mid type of thing. I can't tell you what what number that is. Like probably in the eight eight hundred. I'd probably say seven eight hundred range. So, but yeah. So here's the passive tone. Right here, volume. <laughs> everything flat on the base and this is everything flat on the base <laughs> adjustments uh, off and on throughout the day so that might have something to do with the tuning too I adjust the truss rod and um, ever so slightly and um, yeah I had to drop the bridge down I will say they gave me an allen screw for the bridge for the uh, the saddles and it was too small so I'm turning and some of the saddles were catching and some of them some of the screws were catching, some of them weren't. So some of the saddles were doing this number, and I didn't realize it. The other screws were just coming up out, and I said, okay. So I had to grab one of my own screws to do that. Uh, other thing, little little stuff. This bass knob, I don't know if you can hear that, but it, it, it's kind of tight up against here. So when you turn it, it's like scraping the, this little cover. So yeah, little stuff like that. I think everything else though has been been pretty good. I don't, you know, and, and considering it was four ninety nine, it is like this thing hits well above its uh, price point. Like it's it's a great value. So back to the sounds. That's flat.
like dialing in a little bit. I'll cut the mids ever so slightly. Boost the treble ever so slightly. You're dealing with the 18 volt Sire Heritage 3 preamp. This thing is, it's not as nuanced as some of the more expensive bases, but it, I have to say, the thing has a lot of power. And if you cut something, it cuts the hell out of it. If you boost something, it boosts the hell out of it. So that's that's something you keep in mind with these sire bases. Like they're not playing with when it comes to this preamp. This thing is like it's a beast. So here we go. Everything is trouble boosted slightly, bass boosted slightly, mids cut very slightly, and you get this tone. See, it's like also like I think I'm gonna need to adjust, make some more adjustments. Like I got stuff down, so it's sterling ernie ball type of sound you want to keep the mids in because if you cut the mids too much you don't get that kind of authentic stingray tone um but you definitely get that sizzle cut the trouble a little bit but you you definitely get the sizzle from it the trouble like there's no shortage of trouble like it's crazy these mids though i wouldn't go too, I wouldn't boost past, like I got it slightly boosted now, and this is what you get. just so you can kind of hear it. Here it kind of brings in a little more of that sound. So I just cut it back. There's more mids on the bass. Get a sound in the air. tone and I'm gonna cut this video in a minute go ahead and boost the mids about halfway up and then boost the bass cut the treble completely out and then just play down here near the bridge where you know a 70s jazz pickup would be Back to D10. Mm -hmm. 
and then play close to the neck. So yeah, this, you, you can get some tones out of here, but... discount i got a 10 percent discount because uh this this ended up being a demo because it, it had some a couple of marks like there's a little spot right here that you can barely see and there's some other stuff um there was a couple of marks on the bridge so i got even more of a discount than the regular price i mean this thing is just like you kind of just have to buy one because it's so affordable and this could be your main base honestly this could be your main base. You get this in like a PJ and you know, if you want something kind of modern, maybe something with some 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 soap bars. And you sat. You don't need anything else. I didn't need this base. Like, you know, I definitely didn't need this base. But uh I didn't have this sound. I didn't have that. I did have this sound, which is almost this sound but it's a little different the warwick is a little different i'm gonna do another video specifically on comparing this one the sire to the warwick german pro series uh corvette double buck five string so stay tuned for that i'll probably do that in the next couple of days but i'm going to post this now hope y'all enjoy i'll catch y'all in the next one